Alright, so this is real quick. Uh, tomorrow is Thursday. And I have a date. <laughs> Boom, poppity, scoopity, whoopity, bop, doobity, scoopity, boop. I have a fucking date. Alright. She's very beautiful. Um, she's extremely relatable. Uh, we've been talking on the phone for about two days now via text message. We've been connecting. Uh, we opened up yesterday. We really opened up. Um, we're going to be eating at Chili's tomorrow at 5.30 p.m. Um, she kind of knows what I look like uh, because I kind of know what she looks like. I didn't really get to absorb everything. I just know she's extremely beautiful. She's 5'2". She has, she's biracial, she has long, brown, dirty blonde hair, uh, I believe she has green eyes, she, she and I are going to be going to the same university this fall, um, you know, I know a lot about her, and I have a gift, I'm going to give her, uh, some flowers, a vase, and of course she likes Sprite, which is a soda. She loves Sprite soda, so I'm going to give her that. And her favorite candy is those Twisted Sweet Ropes, Sweet Tart Ropes. I'm going to give her that. And I also learned some other stuff about her. You know, I plan to enjoy the courtship. I'm not here to hook up. I'm here for a connection. And I want to enjoy the courtship for as long as possible. And move at a pace that's healthy for both of us. Because... Why would I want to become too intimate too quickly when I can embrace the person and have a companion? You know, that's more important in my opinion. So, yeah, and she's honestly, she's not a party girl. And that makes me feel so much more confident about it because she's very intelligent. She doesn't date, she doesn't date white guys because apparently they've treated her bad, they've treated her bad in the past. And the fact that she wanted to go on a date with me so soon lets me know that she really, because she's heard a lot about me. This is a blind date, of course. And she and I are so similar. It's kind of ridiculous. Um, so, yeah, I'm pretty excited. I, uh, I, uh, shit. Yeah. I got, uh, some new boots I'm going to wear. I might wear my button down that I bought at Ross today. <clears throat> I'm going to wear cologne. Of course, I've been shaving my face. I've been using oils. Uh, I've been using body spray, deodorant. I've been brushing my teeth, I've been flossing, I've been using lip balm. Um, I've been doing all of the manly things that most men should be doing that a lot of them aren't doing. And, um, you know, I'm a gentleman. So I'm not going to be disrespectful. I'm going to be humble, as always. I'm going to, like I said, enjoy the courtship. I want to let her know that, too. And I feel like. I don't feel like I need to ask her if she wants to be a part of a serious relationship, if that's what she's looking for, because. Um, I believe she's showing it through her words and her actions, and I'll show it through mine. I feel like actions are more, more significantly more, um, powerful than words alone. So, yeah, I'm going to show her that I want to enjoy her as a companion, because she's really chill, and I feel like she could be really cool, you know? And maybe if she's my girlfriend, that'd be really nice too. But, uh, yeah. I don't know if I'm going to keep you guys updated, if it goes good or not. Um, I'm probably going to enjoy every second of it and stay away from YouTube like I've been doing for the past week. So, yeah. I'll see you guys on the flippity flip. If I can get a date with the girl, you guys can do it. Come on now. Peace out, and I love you. Stay good, playboy.